What's up beautiful people? Um, in this video we're going to be checking out something that a lot of you might find very concerning, some of you might encourage and some other people will just find it to be straight up stupid and amusing. This one is titled, These Boys Rip Down a Tampon Dispenser in Their High School Bathroom. Now I live in Canada in Vancouver. I went to a park and I decided to use the washroom. I saw a tampon dispenser. I was confused. I had to walk outside and walk back inside. I wanted to confirm it was a male's bathroom. And it was. And um, it's happening. It's happening. So these boys don't like the idea. They ripped it. Let's check the video out. All right. Boys vent frustration over products for menstruation. So should we demand an apology from boys who know basic biology? Connecticut teenage boys, aren't they all, ripped down a tampon dispenser just 20 minutes after it was installed in their high school bathroom. Which raises the question, why did it take so long? The boys tampon vending machine. <laughs> 20 minutes and why did it take so long? They should have done it the, the minute it was installed. And why did it take so long? <laughs> the boys tampon vending machine and let's pause to appreciate the beauty of that wording was installed as part of a new state law that calls for free menstrual products in at least one men's bathroom in every high school yeah it's, it's a law that is about as logical as free aqua velva in a girl's bathroom <laughs> In an email obtained by a Connecticut news site, the principal expressed his deep disappointment, quote, I am aware that the law says men's bathroom, but the actions today were the work of immature boys, not men. This is the most egregious instance of vandalism. It generally only happens in boys' bathrooms. You think? That's rich. This is the most Wait. egregious. Yeah, I just wanted to emphasize that this is the most egregious instance of vandalism. Is it though? I mean, it is some kind of vandalism, but okay, I guess. You just instance of vandalism? No, it's the most heroic. Fact is, they are boys, <laughs> the and the only thing that vandalism. upsets a woke lemming more is someone who's resistant to their brainwash. And adolescent boys are the least susceptible to woke. <laughs> so it's not immaturity; it's common <laughs> sense. Also. <laughs> Saying that these boys are not men while pretending that girls are boys, I think you've lost all credibility on this topic. You're not a man, you're a mouse, and a ballless one at that. Now, apparently the schools had other vandalism incidents, including broken stall doors, torn down soap dispensers, and things stuffed in toilets, and now an egregiously harmed men's tampon dispenser. <laughs> Well, what the hell do you expect? You put a tampon dispenser in a teenage boy's bathroom and you think it's going to make it through the end of the school year? You should be grateful it lasted one day. <laughs> but Mr. Minutes. Principal, maybe you shouldn't blame those boys for acting up. Perhaps it was just their time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> That's Morris. crazy. But the question is, do girls or did women have this in their bathrooms? Did they have them? Do they even have them now? Because... It has to be sufficient for the people who need them before you can even start putting them in a boy's bathroom. Ah. <laughs> How would you feel if there were a tampon machine in your son's school restroom and he tore it down? <laughs> I would be so disappointed that he didn't call me. <laughs> <laughs> Do it together, son. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bonding. Yeah. Just... <sighs> This is the world we live in. I mean, obviously, the first thing you want to say to the principal is shut up, Gavin. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> totally. The laws, it, it goes, let's say this is a need. I would think it would be a case-by-case -case situation. Unless, yeah. maybe the numbers are off, but the population of trans boys using the bathrooms in elementary school is what? And that's what I would ask, like, is it three times a day? Yeah. Is it once a year? Is it one student every semester that fits this description? So why even put them in that situation? Mm -hmm. Because they still have the nurse's office. Yeah. And if they're, I'm assuming if they're trying to live their life as a young man, the last thing they want is to be in the men's room 
with other men looking for, hey, fellas, any one of you grab the tampons? I need one. <laughs> like, that's a good point. <laughs> and this is very vital. It sounds amusing, but this is a very interesting point. Very solid points he's making. If you grab the tampons, I need one. <laughs> like, that's a good point. Yeah. Tyrus, quit put him in your nose, bro. It's not funny. Like, oh, you, you put him, you get super exorbitant. You didn't play with your mom's tampons. I'm like, these things, what is this? I was like, this is amazing. And one time I got a bloody nose and my mother went in her purse and was like, hold still. And not a drop on my shirt. Work. It does work. Phenomenal. And, as and a, for bullet wounds. And as a father now, like, I got three daughters, so I'm all about the mm -hmm. being ready for the... Mm -hmm pads or tampons or whatever we're doing like i got a set for each one i'm ready to go i'm in there you don't gotta talk to your mom i got you i carry one in my bag so if i die in a car accident and you guys see a bunch of tampons in my bag just to let you know i'm an active father with daughters i was not transitioning <laughs> Cat. as someone who's often mistaken for a teenage boy no, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's right. She puts on a hat, you She's know. She's beautiful, yeah. though. Yeah, you really can. You really have no idea. <laughs> um, is what do you expect from a teenager? They destroy everything. Mm, okay. Well, but also as someone who used to clean bathrooms professionally, mm -hmm. yeah, at Boston Market, it's like <laughs> it's not the fault of whoever ended up having to clean up this mess, which kind of yeah. sucks for the janitor. That's like, mm -hmm. what'd you do today? Like, I'm cleaning up the busted open tampon dispenser in the boys bathroom like that sucks as a day mm. but as as you know I, in high school like i provided my own tampons yeah i just i don't know i feel like like tyra said how many people does this really impact mm -hmm. and it's a small school in connecticut and now it's national news <laughs> and uh, i feel like america just has so much money to even canada too like you just have so much money to you know to do things because if the stat is not right even though there was need for this, and you don't even know how many people would need it, how do you know how what the the quantity to put in in these bathrooms? So a lot was not thought about. It's just that there was money. So I just I think there's so much money, and that's why it was done. Uh, I, I don't just know. don't have much more to say. About that. <laughs> uh, uh, Emily, um, yeah, they tore it down in 20 minutes. I think that's restraint. I know, right? <laughs> Took you long enough. Yeah. Um, Okay, so here's the thing, though. It, it's it's national news because it was state law that mandates that tampons have to be in boys' bathrooms as yeah. well as women's. And to your point, I love that point because the the statistics. Think about where your tax dollars are being mandated, where that. you are being forced to allocate mm -hmm. the amount, the expense that is for how many. And then when you weigh, so this principal talked about vulgar vandalism. He said <laughs> he was disgusted. Right? You know, it's impolite. Well, I would argue that worse than vandalism or being a, a, a boy, not a man, is the rape that occurred in the Virginia mm. women's bathroom by a man wearing a skirt, a boy wearing a skirt. And her family is suing their school district for 30 million because they condoned it, because it because laws like this are what opened the field for everyone to take advantage of it. So I, I would rather err on the side of one person being like, I have to walk to the nurse's office yeah. and having one person be raped in the bathroom because someone else worse. Yeah, and if you if you're if you're transitioning, I think you can also carry a tampon with you. Not that I would know, Vince. Yeah. <laughs> no, I carry them for my daughters yeah, all the time. It's yeah. Not a big deal. Yeah, point of pride. Vince, did they do the right thing or was it immature? Look, if you walk into a boy's bathroom and the worst thing you see is a dispenser on the ground, <laughs> yeah. you're already winning, okay? <laughs> yes. As guys, we've walked into bathrooms and it looks like there was a pagan sacrifice right. in the stalls. <laughs> and you're just like, I just want to know what I can touch and not touch. <laughs> you know, the, I think the problem here, and Emily hit on it, is when you try to legislate this stuff, I mean, I grew up different. Sometimes you have to trust people. Mm -hmm. And when I grew up in the 80s, from middle school, high school, and beginning of college, you know, we didn't have to be legislated and what to accept, not accept. And 80s was androgynous as hell. Mm -hmm. Between Boy George, the bands where the guys were getting girls had long hair, were wearing makeup. <laughs> None of us asked questions. We accepted everything. And girls were into George Michael, and we were like, ha <laughs> surprise, he likes me more. Um, <laughs> You know, so, but you didn't have to legislate. And if someone did attack someone who was trans or gay or whatever, 
it was the, the toxic males that would defend them. Mm -hmm. So the problem is don't try to legislate this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, just sometimes you just have to let things happen and let people gravitate to where they're going to go to. And you know what? Kids will work this out. You know, I... Yeah, yeah I, that's a very good point. You put legislations around it, then things can self-correct. And things do self-correct, you know. Things really do self-correct. People should just follow my lead. I don't think I ever actually used the restroom in high school. <laughs> I got my business done before and after. I was never going to sit on that toilet. Yeah, true. My parents, it was, it was a must in my house. <laughs> I still do it till today. I don't use public washrooms unless there's a very special situation with running stomach. <laughs> Too much information. But yeah, um, in my house, my parents always advise you go in the morning and then when you come back from school, you can do your thing. But we never use the public washrooms. Not for anything. It was an all-guys school, so there wasn't even... Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Wait, I'm on TV. I have to. Sure, All right, coming up, Lib starts to panic if you destroy a statue that's satanic. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think about that. Um, I don't, I don't know why they're putting these tampons on in the male's washroom. Do they calculate the usage? Um, also, when it, it goes bad, you have to put it back there. Is it cost effective to do so? Who's paying for it? Do men really need these things? <laughs> Anyways, I'll just let this one slide. <laughs> I don't I don't want to say so much. You guys let me know what you think about that. I guess the governments know what they're doing. I'll assume they do. If they don't, then I guess it's on them, but the taxpayers also have to suffer. Well, smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.